What's going on my crew? This is Jay. Welcome to another episode of Jay's Adventures. Uh, today, we are adventuring around in a flat world because I want to get some work done on some Roman architecture because uh, here it is. Now, one of the things I like to do is before I choose for sure um, that I like or don't like something, um, typically what I do is I, I get away from it. I get away from it for a day or a night or something like that and then come back to it. Um, oftentimes what will happen is, like in the case of this, um, the night before I'll go, oh my god, this is terrible, it looks horrible, and then I'll walk away from it, come back and say, you know what? We can work with this. We'll figure some stuff out. So I want to tell you guys what I want to keep, what I don't want to keep, and why we have it structured like this. Uh, most of you guys, when you think of Roman architecture, are probably thinking of something along the lines of a bunch of pillared blocks. And certainly those are there, but we're not trying to create the Pantheon here. We're just trying to create some basic homes um, that are going to be generally used. This stuff is going to be used in the cities. So... Right off the bat, I want to actually start off by talking to you guys a little bit about how this project is going to work, how it's going to run, and uh, the future of this project for uh, later on when we come back to it or whatever we start doing. Okay, so first of all, we've got hamlets. We've got, uh, let me exit out of this and explain to you guys as we show you a few things. Um, we've got hamlets, or, or settlements at the bottom, hamlets villages towns and cities so let me do this again settlements hamlets towns or uh, villages towns and cities okay five different tiers of types of cities now i'm still having trouble getting villagers over there so i'm gonna put a hold on that and just start building and then as time goes on um, i may or may not bring some uh, over from another town or something like that but uh Right now, I want to focus on just building, um, sorry, <clears throat> I just nearly inhaled saliva. <laughs> uh, right now, I just want to focus on mainly getting uh, some architectural styles down, as well as I would love to put a few of these, depending on how I like it, in there. Uh, but, for all practical purposes, we're going to go with two cities. And this is the big picture that I'm talking about. Uh, we're going to go with 10 towns. Um, let's give it a little bit a little smaller of a number. We'll do 8 towns. Uh, I want to go with 14 villages. And uh, hamlets. We'll do 25 hamlets. And then finally, uh, roughly, we'll go with 30 settlements. Now this is a tall order. I've told you guys this is going to be a tall order. Um, but I just want to kind of tell you guys why this sort of number. Now you guys are thinking, Jay, 30 settlements? Are you kidding me? That's a lot. Not really. Um, we also have, let me uh, just throw this up here. We also have a few larger projects we need to take care of. One, Roman roads. Romans had awesome roads between the two areas, so we need to work on getting Roman roads to connect every single one of these things to each other. And a giant wall called, hey, I'm going to spell this horribly, Hadrian's Wall. Now, this is a real wall that existed, and this is going to go around the inner side of the kingdom. Um or I should say the Empire, and that way we can keep the bad guys out and make sure that we concentrate everything on the inside. Now this wall is going to bring us to another sort of thing and theme that we need to make sure of, is these little settlements, they're not going to have walls. These little hamlets, maybe I might throw some of the walls. It's not until villages, towns, and cities that we have Lar uh, walls keeping out bad guys. Hamlets may have, you know, some like wooden walls, but nothing like these where you have stone walls that can, um, that are made out of concrete. Um, 
of course settlements are settlements now settlements are just gonna have some houses I'm gonna I need to still do some more research on, on what was important to the society of the Romans but I do know that uh, town forums which are basically uh, where people get together and meet um, to do town meetings and stuff like that that needs to be created and churches need to be created um, at least a small church for people to go into and then a couple houses and of course lots of uh, field full of hay um, or carrots or potatoes or whatever hamlets are gonna have a lot more of these things um, I think if I remember correctly we're gonna be putting um, a couple extra little goodies in these hamlets like bathhouses and uh, a few other public uh, facilities um, oh, ooh, ooh, I forgot one major thing, the aqueducts. Now again, just like Hadrian's Wall, these aqueducts are only going to be within the major uh, towns and cities. So the way I want to put this, weird lag, um, you know, let's say that we've got a big area right here, right? Well, we're going to have city here and um, a couple towns and then... You know, some some villages a little bit on the outskirts here. Okay. And, but then there's going to be another city right here with another couple towns around that. And then a couple villages here and there on the outside, right? And then we're going to have a little bit out further, some hamlets scattered about in the areas, right? I just realized I had my sounds off. Okay. Let's toggle this downfall. Ooh, it's a thunderstorm. So just a few of these little hamlets all around. And then even scattered out more. Because you gotta remember the Roman Empire was very scattered. Okay? So that's a lot of hamlets. Scattered even more on the outskirts here. We're gonna have a bunch of settlements. Okay? Now all of these, like I said, are gonna be connected by Roman roads. Um, maybe the settlements the Roman roads haven't reached yet, but some of them we will. This inner sanctum, though, the inner part is where we're going to have the wall. So Hadrian's Wall, and I'm not going to call it that because obviously I need some poetic license here. But Hadrian's Wall will be going uh, sort of around these areas, you know. Make sure it's a tight-knit community on the inside of um, the area. And then just to shore things up and really give our people uh, on the inner area what they need is aqueducts and this right here is gonna be so much easier than you think to do because these aqueducts are gonna end up being a lot easier to make once we put um, what they need uh, connecting these uh, the few things in here so let me explain one other thing before we go on. So why aren't hamlets involved in Hadrian's Wall? Because they're not settlements, but they are hamlets. The reason for that is because these hamlets haven't been under the Roman control quite long enough, and this Hadrian's Wall will be built prior to us building a lot of hamlets. So what I want to focus on is just starting to build... Um, not really a city. I want to go with a town first, and then we'll move to a city just to get our bearings. And once we build these, we're going to start building Hadrian's Wall, and then we're going to start to work on some tiny little hamlets that are easy to throw up and uh, going to work on that. All right, so let's move along. And by the way, I love this house at this bottom part, and this is actually a Roman apartment building. And uh, I was looking up yesterday, and it's the real apartment buildings are built a little bit different. I base this off of something that was um, sort of an artist's recreation. So it's a little bit off what it would really look like. Um, but you can almost imagine this in sort of a Italian style looking house. So I really like it. Um, which reminds me, we're going to have two different styles. So this is going to be more of the styles of the inner area of the Roman Empire. Whereas these outer spots are going to have more of a medieval look. So we're going to still use stone. But 
we're going to use a lot of this dark wood to kind of uh, compensate and we're going to have a lot of um, houses that have hay on the top okay so just those few little things and then um, what else did I want to say shoot aqueducts, Hadrian's Wall, 25 hamlets, 30 settlements you know I got sidetracked <laughs> this is why I like writing things down but uh, this one I didn't because I didn't need a, a sort of topic to talk about but um, oh yeah 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 okay so I want to talk to you guys about how these Roman towns are going to be set up and even I need to look up cities but I know a lot about towns because um, I did a lot of research yesterday on town architecture okay so we're gonna have and this is gonna be most of these towns are gonna be set up similar to this so you might be thinking in your mind well Jay don't we want variety don't worry we'll do some variety but if we went truly Roman everything would be the same why because they had the same builders building these same villages before they even put them out there so uh, I won't explain it but we're gonna have just like a New York City we're gonna have some roads that are going to be all crossing within e each other and uh, you know give it a little two space here and we've got a wall here and then one right here that'll be maybe the poor housing right and then a road here and there we go so in the middle here is gonna be town stuff you know there's a forum which is kinda like a market where people meet and uh, the town gets together to have meetings then we're gonna have a church here and some public baths here and here and then the rich people are gonna live here and around the the area where the good stuff is right and then the poor people are gonna be out here and they're gonna live in apartments and uh, the bottom part is gonna be where they have shops but the top parts are gonna end up being uh, where they live and those are gonna be, have to be made out of some sort of wood material because they need to be able to light on fire uh, given the fire but I really like this style of um, clay I just need to figure out how we're gonna integrate things a little bit better but uh, and then on the outside is where people are going to have some farms. Just a few farms scattered around. And uh, this is going to take up a lot of space. But even better, every single one of these towns. One second, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. So on the outskirts, every single one of these is going to have something pretty cool. And that will be a little theater. Now, not like a theater like, oh, I'm going to go watch a musical theater. Um, this will be a theater that is, uh, what do they call it? Amp I don't know. But it's going to be where things like horse races happen. And uh, much set up like the Coliseum, except for the Coliseum is going to be in our cities. We're going to have two Coliseums, one in each one. I know there's really one Coliseum, but pff, whatever. Uh, and we're going to set it up very nicely. And each one of these two coliseums are going to be a little bit different. One's going to be more traditional. Whereas the other one, I'm going to give a little bit of poblatic license on that one. Um, but I want to talk about now, and finally, um, the color schemes I'm going to be going with on a lot of these things. So we're going to talk about the towns first. And then I'm going to go to cities and then hamlets and, of course, settlements. So towns are going to have some blocks that are quite frankly a lot like this now I might or I may or may not go with acacia wood I'm not sure yet acacia wood uh, is supposed to represent the orangish type roofs uh, that they used um, they use a lot of these colors nice light color with the orange roof and it definitely looks Italian that being said we'll see um, of course, I don't believe, I need to check my sources on this, I don't believe that they used glass, so we're going to have these open, nice and open, and um, that way, I don't know, <laughs> I know they had doors, 
so we're going to be putting doors in, but uh, I want to try and leave things a little more open. Um, and as I learn more about the architecture, I'm actually going to get a book. Um, we may or may not edit these styles and ways things look um, because, yeah, we're going to see. But I'll keep you guys updated because this, I think, is going to be a great learning experience for you guys as well as me. Um, I tried to look up a bunch of Roman architecture videos on YouTube and none of them were historically accurate and looked good. You know, you, you sort of have a balance. Anyways, I got to finish up the episode. Jeez. Um, <laughs> so for when we have um, these more elaborate nice buildings that are supposed to be made out of pure marble and stone we're gonna go with something like this okay so we've got our marble that's obvious but for things like the roof what I'm thinking of doing is a nice smooth cyan clay now look at that beautiful why am I going with cyan clay? Because cyan clay, in my opinion, is the closest looking object to concrete. Other than this, of course, lighter color. But for the concrete that they would use for this, it's much easier to look at. Um, of course, we've got, let's see here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The new, like, diorite and stuff. There it is. Uh, and a site here. Um, we've also got andesite that we could use, but what I don't like about it is that it has this uh, sort of ring around the outside that may or may not end up working. Um, it certainly looks a little bit better, but I do like the cyan clay for these um, nice city buildings that are going to be luxurious and beautiful. Um, and one last little piece here. Um, for our hamlets and uh, the difference between a hamlet and a settlement is going to be these uh, roof types. I'm going to go with a lot of hay bale roof for uh, the settlements whereas these hamlets are going to have uh, a little better established roofing materials depending on where they are. They're going to have different types of wood so if they're near birch tree forest they're going to have birch tree stuff. And then, of course, I want to go definitely for sure with a dark wood roof. Okay? Very good. So I think it's shaping up really nice. And uh, I just want to give a big thanks to uh, Clay Creations, um, who technically, historically, on my channel, suggested this idea before I really announced it. So I want to give her the credit on this. Um, that being said, this whole thing has been an idea that I've wanted to do. I want to start with the Roman Empire, and then I wanted to do another sort of empire that I'm still working out because it's technically not historically anything, um, but I'm sort of working it out. Um, and I wanted to bring these two together, and I wanted to build it. So, I hope, Clay, that you are happy, um with this sort of build i know that this may not be what you were expecting uh but certainly i think that it's going to be wonderful and i have to tell you guys just like i said at the beginning of this episode i went to bed yesterday thinking disgusting now i'm looking at it and i'm saying needs work but it's pretty darn good and i'm liking it so hope you guys are liking it hope you guys are enjoying the series let's get to work though because I know that I'm going to need a lot of acacia. And I, I'm going to need to get that stuff. So, yeah, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, happy mining and crafting.